What are we doing, Hollywood? What, what, are, we, what are we doing with trailers? It's a nightmare. Okay, here's the deal. What? Sheila. Okay, uh, wow. Uh, apparently we have a sponsor for this video. So we're gonna, we're gonna go ahead and fire that up now. What a treat. Sponsors, baby. That means I've made it. Enjoy. When I'm watching bad trailers, typically I'm also enjoying a nice meal. So teaming up with HelloFresh for a sponsored video just made sense. If you've been living under a rock and don't know what HelloFresh is, let me break it down. Every month you get fresh, pre-portioned ingredients and seasonal recipes delivered right to your front doorstep. I don't know about you, but I hate going to the store because I don't really like people. So the fact that HelloFresh takes the shopping out of it is very nice. I mean, that's one of many reasons why it's America's number one meal kit. My family's used HelloFresh many times over the years. You save money doing it, the food's really tasty. And they're constantly keeping things fresh by switching up the recipes. Look at these shots. Look at these glamour shots right now of the food sizzling. Things are happening. They're steaming. They're sauteing. This could be you. This could be your kitchen. Those ingredients aren't coming from the Walmart produce section. I can tell you that right now. This is the real deal. If you want to try HelloFresh, and I highly suggest you do, just click the link below for a special limited time discount plus free shipping, baby. I mean, look at this. This could be you right now, eating healthy, having some fun in the kitchen. It's a no-brainer. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring the video. Let's get back to it. Mm. That's good stuff. Fantastic. Let's continue. 85% of the movie trailers that come out today are all the same. That's a percentage I just based up, pulled it out of my ass. And I think it's probably fair. I think it's probably accurate. If you watch a trailer online, they often have a teaser of the trailer you're watching. A spoiler-filled teaser about the two-minute thing you're going to witness. On top of that, you might also have a commercial, depending on if you're paying for a premium subscription to YouTube or whatnot. So you got commercial, which could be of the trailer you're going to watch. Then you have teaser, then you have the actual trailer. Now, if you're watching on Twitter or something, you get a cropped, crappy version. If you're watching on TikTok, you got some jackass like me up front, green screened and poorly, talking into his headset like this for some reason, explaining what you're seeing behind him in low res quality. It's a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And then of course you have trailer reactors, people that act in good faith, people that act in bad faith, people that I wanna punch in the face because they're so phony about everything. But then they also get a pass at the same time because they're hamming it up intentionally for the audience and the audience knows they're hamming it up. What a mess. What a mess. Hey, we got a new trailer coming out. Let's check it out. The logo comes up and they've basically already came. Oh, Marvel? Oh. <laughs> Wipe out. With movie trailers in the last few years, one of the things we've seen a lot of in movies is remaking films or soft rebooting films or making a sequel 45 years after the original. So we have to bring back the original score. But we don't just play the original score like Ghostbusters or Jurassic Park or Star Wars. No, we do a modified, slower, orchestrative version. Is orchestrative a word? Yeah, I made it one if it's not. Orchestral. It's orchestral. An orchestral version. Ding, 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 ding. And they hold that note. Boom, 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 boom. Da, na, 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 na. And then Owen's there with his hand. It's always the hand. Whoa. Hey, whoa. Talk to the hand, Raptors. Skitty dee 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 dee. Standing in a nanny. I don't have enough wontons in here. Melissa McCarthy, Ghostbusterette. Dun 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 dun. And in comes 8,000 year old Harrison Ford with the cane. <sighs> if it's a Sony property, everything is just black, covered in black. Ooze comes down. Then there's chrome lettering all over the place for the titles. You can't see shit in these films. These trailers are just awful. They're constantly fading to black slowly with a bass drop. 
if the movie is prominently featuring black people, or even, I guess, if there's black people in it at all, rap music. Every time, rap music. I can just see the executives. All right, uh, what do we got here? Black Panther? What do we got here? Spider-Man into the Spider-Verse? What do we got here? Another movie with a person that's not white? Rap music. Creed 3 trailer. Pfft, I am the greatest. Uh, you cannot tame me. And the newest obnoxious trend I've seen recently, which was in Fast and the Furious, it's been in the Shazam trailers. It's all over the place. They take a semi-popular song and they beat the refrain into the ground. You will hear the refrain 60 times in the span of two and a half minutes. Are you ready for it? Boom, boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Are you ready for it? Well, this looks like a job for me. Shazam starts punching people. Well, this looks like a job for me. He's picking up a bus. Well, this looks like a job for me. He's taking a shit. Yeah, well, this looks like a job for me. Oftentimes, if you want a good idea of the beginning, middle, and end of a film, the whole structure, the whole play out, just watch the second or third movie trailer that's released. They almost always go in chronological order through the flick, showing sequences from each portion. You can bet your bottom dollar that the ending of the trailer is going to be a shot very late in the film. That's almost always the case. And this isn't so much a problem with movie trailers as it is with the movie industry as a whole. When I go to the theater, there's very little perks for me anymore. Oftentimes I'm sitting in a room that's either too cold or too hot. I'll be in the room with chairs that are half functioning where I might drop backwards. There's shit all over the ground. The people are annoying. The bathroom stalls are broken. I can't even use a urinal. I have to pee on the floor. The food is stale. It's overpriced. Like I'd be at home with air conditioning, with, with a nice 70 degree temp inside or whatever I feel is comfortable in the moment. Blackout shades, nice and dark, huge TV, food at my disposal that's fresh. So what perks am I getting anymore at the theater? Oh, movie trailers? That used to be fun. In the 90s? When I didn't have access to the internet and could see them all 35 times before the trailer even hits the theaters. This is a major problem. I've been to a few movies in the last week and I've seen the same five or six movie trailers every single time. There should be exclusive trailer releases for theaters. Give people a reason to go out there. Honestly, I'm not shooting you. Going to movies back in the day, if I missed the previews, I had a major chip on my shoulder. I was like pissed. Movie trailers was half of the fun for me. And Marvel figured this out. They picked up on this. That's why they put movie trailers at the end of all their films. They're like, yeah, we know Ant-Man 3 sucked. But look. Look what's on the... Look what's bubbling on the surface. It's a new movie coming out. And here's another one at the weigh-in credits. They got it figured out. They put trailers in their own movies. So we don't even get the perks of going to the theater to watch these previews. Even to go off of that... Sometimes the movie trailer is the older one. The internet's already put out trailer two or three, and the movie preview at the theaters, they're still way back on the teaser. Oh cool, I see Indy dusting off his hat and a close-up of the whip. Bitch, I just watched him on a fake horse with a fake head running around on railroad tracks. I want to see that. Bottom line, movie trailers are a disaster, up and down. Whether it's a clout-chasing influencer who spoils a movie seven months before it hits the big screen because he dissected the trailer, or he had someone on the inside give him information and then he threw it out there so that he'd get all these subscribers his way. Or whether it's a movie that releases too much in the trailer, or the preview's way too long and exhausting, I don't have any desire to see it. Fast and the Furious 35 has like a four minute trailer. Are you kidding me? The movie shouldn't even be four minutes long at this point. Or you're just burnt out seeing the same old ones when you go to the movies. There, there's a lot of things that need to be cleaned up. Let's have a little bit more creativity again with these previews. Let's not just reuse the same generic songs and slow motion shots and fades to black over and over. We can have more fun with it and get more creative. This is you showing audiences we're thinking outside the bun. We're doing things different than our competition. This isn't another generic Venom. This isn't another MCU movie. We're having fun with this thing. 
But whatever, if it ain't broke, why fix it, right? Well, maybe you should risk it. Maybe you should risk it. Well, those are my thoughts on movie trailers now in 2023. I'd love to hear from you. Did I miss anything that really bothers you about previews? Let me know in the comments. Thank you again to our sponsor, Sheila. Do we have another cutaway segment we have to do? No? Okay, well, show yourself out then. You're no longer needed. Like the video if you had a good time. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie-related content each and every week. would love to have you stick around. And if you do, I'll see you next time. Take care.